U.S. stocks, they were struggling to turn positive in late trade Thursday afternoon. This has big gains in Hewlett Packard and strong economic data clashed with concerns about reduced Fed stimulus. Now, first initial jobless claims, they fell to 340,000 for the week ending May 18th. This from 363,000 the previous week. The, the flash market manufacturing PMI, that was also stronger than expected for May, and new home sales figures, they rose. Weak Chinese data also weighed in on the U.S. and global markets. The flash HSBC Purchasing Manager Index for the month of May slipped to 49.6, falling under the key 50 level, which does divide expansion from contraction for the first time since October. A sharp sell-off in Japan also weighed in on the markets. Japan's benchmark Nikkei 225 index falling today, 7.3 percent, with the yen gaining ground and bond yields continuing to rise. That was the index's biggest drop in more than two years. And with oil prices ending nearly flat after earlier losing more than $2 and the dollar slipping against the yen and the euro, it looked to be quite the active finish for the Dow Jones this Thursday. Speaking of which, taking a look now to see how the Dow Jones has closed out today's volatile trading session, the Dow is on the downside, 12.67 points to settle in at 15,294.50. In a breakdown of today's major market movers, we first begin and only talk about earnings reports. That, that of which is from Dow component Hewlett Packard, which saw earnings and outlook that topped analyst expectations, in which CEO Meg Whitman of Hewlett Packard attributed to a better than expected performance in enterprise services and printing. The stock today up over 14 percent.